Y'all got y'all receipt? I, I don't want to hear that shit. Where's that? Where's the receipt? Y'all ain't leaving here until I see that receipt. It's no, no, no calls for no calls for all the violence. Let me see the goddamn receipt. Okay, y'all not leaving until I see that damn receipt. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Stay in this fucking household. Well, I'll be damned. Look who finally decided to wake the fuck up. I've been right here busting my ass all fucking day just for you to fucking sleep. Not only that, I got to deal with your dad with this small ass dick. I can't even feel the motherfucker last night. I go get you a rag and help me clean this motherfucking toilet. <laughs> what did you just say? Oh, you're tired. <laughs> Since when you get so fucking tired, you think I give a flying fuck about you being fucking tired? I bust my ass for you sorry bitches. And you gonna tell me you tired? I don't wanna hear nothing else. Bring me your PlayStation, bring me those magazines with those naked men in them, and give me that goddamn bed. You ain't sleeping no more. Hey, right, bro. What's good, Twin? I have costumes like this. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. He's gonna whoop your fucking ass, dude. Yeah. Hey, stay over there. But, um, Caleb, he's having a fucking party over... Stay over there. Caleb, he's having a fucking party over there in Columbus and shit. Stay over there. Um, he invited me, so I think we should go. And plus, he said... Stay over there. And plus, he said it's gonna be mad naked bitches over there, bro. Bruh. Yes. Bro, God damn! Can you not watch me? Go ahead, bro. Fucking tired of this shit. Every time I turn around, I gotta take this fucking trash out. There's plenty other people in the fucking house. Why me? Just why me? Fucking sick of this shit. Shit, chilling, bro. Um, what you got going? Oh, you trying to go to the movies? Sure. That's a bet. That's a bet. But didn't you go to the movies last night? No, no, no. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about how I know. Didn't you go to the movies last night? And where the fuck I was? Huh? Where the fuck I was? That's right. I was here. Playing with my dick. And that's not it. That's not it. On April 9th, 343 p.m. 2024 Eastern Time. Why the fuck are you was at McDonald's? Why the fuck you was at McDonald's without me? You know I love that shit. Hell, I am a Big Mac, motherfucker. But you know what? I don't even care about that. Because the next day, around 1.30, actually 1.32, A.M. Central Time. You was at my girl house. Explain to me why you were in that location. Oh, <laughs> y'all were playing Simon Says, right? <laughs> All right. Get your ass in this goddamn car! Have you lost your goddamn mind? Serious? Sneaking out? That's what we doing now? That's how we fucking doing it now? How about I just sneak my tongue in your ass? Yeah, your mom was worried sick. Sick as fuck. 
I'm in a room stroking the fuck out my Johnson. Your mom just calling you, Carson, Carson, Carson. Then comes back to me, oh my God, Carson's gone. Now look at me. Look where I'm at now. Look. Just tell me like, what convinces you to do that? You ain't seeing no bitches, so just tell me what's going on. Oh, you snuck out so you can go to a fucking party. If she got two legs, hit it. If she got two arms, hit it. If she got two eyes, hit it. And if she's 12 years old, hit it. Oh, hell oh, yeah. Yeah. How you doing, son? <laughs> what the fuck? Who the fuck is this? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> so, where the fuck you from? <laughs> you smoke weed? Okay. You got any sisters or a no, mother or something? <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I can ask him what the fuck I want to ask him. You the one that invited that ugly motherfucker, so I can... This is my motherfucking truck. You don't pay for no gas. Shut up! No, no! Wait a fucking minute! Because hell no, you invited this motherfucker. You don't know if he can kill us or what. You just told him, hey, come ride home with me. And you didn't even fucking ask me, bitch. So who your parents is? Oh, you stay right around the corner from me? Oh, you're Miss Sally's son. Oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. All right. All right, now, take care. <laughs> hey, don't be afraid to ask me for a ride again, man. Don't you ever do that shit. I Yeah, I'm not touching that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this shit is so fucking funny. <laughs> what the fuck do you want, mom? Wash the dishes? What the fuck I look like washing dishes? Then you want me to take the trash out, sweep, vacuum, and clean the bathroom up? This is not even my house. I'm not doing all this shit. What? I'm doing the dishes, Mom. What? You happy? You happy now? What the fuck? Oh, hey. How you doing, Mrs. Johnson? What a nice pleasure to meet you. Hey, no, 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 no need for all that. I'm Jake's friend, you know? You know, he let me in, and I know you had a long, hard day, so I decide, you know, why not? Because, you know, I know Jake can be pretty lazy sometimes, you know? As you can see right now, your dishes are pretty spotless, you know, because of me. <laughs> you know, I got some pretty unique skills. Follow me this way, queen. Your bathroom, your majesty, spick and span. And I know you don't get this a lot, but your carpet, vacuum. Your floor, sweet. It's spotless to be exact. Oh yeah, and last but not least, come forth. Trash is taken out. Now, do you mind if I see you butt-ass naked? You young man have lost your goddamn mind. And I'm sick of that shit. You want me to fuck you up, don't you? Huh? You want me to fuck you up, don't you? Don't you? I see what it is. I see what it is. You think you big and bad, huh? I'm gonna show you how to motherfucking be big and bad. Huh? 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 Yeah! Yeah! Come on! I'm ready! If you ever in your life slam a goddamn door in my house ever again, I'm gonna slam my fist up there. Ain't hey, nobody slamming shit right here but me. You got that? Now go in my room so you can eat my ass. <laughs> and bro, you know what's crazy? She spreading my cheeks like, what the fuck?
That's what I'm saying, bro. This shit crazy as fuck. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. I got a missed call from my dad. I ain't even see what he called me. Did you see him? Let me call him back and see what he wanted. Yo, dad, I seen when you called me. Everything straight? No! It's not straight! You fat bitch! You had watch out! Watch out! And that was to pick up the motherfucking phone! You idiot! You had one fucking task! You bitch! And you can't even answer the phone for your fucking daddy? I'm daddy! Dad, I'm sorry. I just didn't see you. Oh, no, 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 no. Save that bullshit, you big bitch. It's over. Don't you call my motherfucking phone no goddamn more. I'm tired. My wife should have aborted your bitch ass. You big bitch. I swear. I fucking swear. Well, Dad, um... Rod said hi. Fuck Rod! Fuck him! I don't give a fuck! Fuck Rod! Rod is a bitch! Just like you! He ugly as fuck! And you fat as fuck! Get the fuck out my goddamn phone! My dad said hi. So you sick, huh? Answer me! I can't keep doing this. You hear me? I don't give a fuck if you're sick as a fucking dog! You hear me? And you know what fucking pains me the most during this fucking journey? Your fucking mother! Oh, go check on Carson! Go check on Carson! Go see how you doing! Go see where I'm at. Why can't you do it, bitch? Guess who's making $17 this week? Me! Cause I gotta keep fucking leaving work for your bull- I can't even talk right! Gotta leave work for your bullshit! When you get home, you get butt-ass naked, and you get slamming that bed, okay? Let me get two Big Mac, two large fries, and medium-sized Cokes on the double. Mr. Johnson, thank you for taking real good care of him. Trust me, when he get home, he's gonna get his ass up. He's gonna get his butt under the covers and he's gonna go to sleep. <laughs> thank you so much, Mr. Jones. So this is what I miss work for? Shut the fuck up! I don't give a fuck! I just want you to know, I was in the middle of my lunch break, and guess what happens? Ring, ring! Westlife's Ella fucking memory! I'm not even mad at the fact that you're sick. I'm mad at the fact that I gotta leave work for your bullshit! So when we get to this house, you, sir, will hand me that phone, that PlayStation, and your ass- I don't wanna hear shit on this ride home! Do I make myself clear? Now you get it, this man, and you lay there! God fucking damn it, man! Fuck! How the fuck can he do this shit, man? Fuck, man! Oh, uh, what's wrong with me? Bro, you won't even fucking believe it, man. <laughs> Ryan said he's taking a break from social media! to the streets when it came to that social media shit, bro. I swear to God, man. I even had his post notifications on when it came to that nigga posting something, bro. For real, dog. Wait a minute. Rod just posted something on Snapchat three minutes ago. Yeah! Let's fucking go! Carson, did I tell you to get this shit? Oh, shit. Um... Carson. 
Carson, you didn't tell me you had company over <laughs> little man. Oh, that's your girlfriend. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, my son's not gay. So, bud, how long have you and her been hanging out? Oh, all day. Okay, okay. When does she plan on going home so I can, you know, take her home or whatnot? This brings me so much joy. She's spending the night? Oh, okay. Well, um, make yourself comfortable. And, um, ma'am, if you ever need anything, I'm the guy to call. <laughs> oh, um, I didn't want nothing. Um, just making sure you guys good. Um, I wasn't just creepily watching y'all just to see if y'all were gonna make a move or something. I wasn't doing that. <laughs> Pull your Johnson now. Pull your Johnson. Oh, nothing. Um, do y'all want something to eat, Carson? <laughs> May I have a word with you, dude? What the fuck? You're acting like you're scared. Come on, get in there. I taught you better than that. Go for the kill shot, man. Get in those draws. Come on, dude. One, two, three, that's enough for me. One, two, three, that's enough for me. One, two, three, that's enough for me! I don't give a fuck! This is my water! One, two, three, that's enough for me. Okay, that's it. Get back! What's good, bro? Yo, are those females right there? It's your bitch ass back, bro. Little weak ass dude. <laughs> bro, you remember they pulled your parents down in the locker room? <laughs> and you had a small ass wiener? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they pulled my parents down too, but like, my shit was this long. Like, that shit was long as fuck. <laughs> Shut your bitch ass up, boy. <laughs> Come on, get up. Let's box. Let's box. <laughs> Let's box. Get up. Oh, fuck. Bro, do you got change for 10000 Like, I got 10000 in the bank, but, like, I don't got it in cash, bro. Did you got it? <laughs> of course you don't fucking got it. Bro, remember when I gave you my other iPhone because your dad wouldn't let you get rid of that flip phone? Shit's fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> Give me that shit. <laughs> Come get it, little man. <laughs> Come get it. You can't even fucking get a little short ass bitch. <laughs> Call me daddy. Call me daddy. Call me daddy right now. Call me daddy. So, ladies, <laughs> um, y'all feeling me or not? Nah? What? Y'all want him? What the fuck? <sighs> All right, y'all boys, y'all ready to go? Yo, this road trip's gonna be so fun. I can't wait till we get there. We finna see some honeys, party, suck some dick. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Oh, hell no. I'm about to lose my mind in this bitch, bro. I'm about to lose my mind in this bitch, bro. For real. Where the fuck is my mate? I just had that motherfucker. Where is that? I swear on my mom, on sweet baby Jesus. Ain't nobody leaving this motherfucking car, and I'm not leaving this motherfucking spot until I get my shit. Maya, get your ass up. Get up! Let me see if my vaping your ass cheeks, because there's a lot of shit in there. <laughs> I'm about to flip this bitch upside down, bro. I promise you. <laughs> it's over with. I'm done. It's over. <laughs> I'm 
never gonna be myself again. <laughs> Wait a minute. Never mind, guys. I found it. I found it. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Ah, what the move is for today? To Madison have a party this Saturday. Huh? Madison is having a party this Saturday. Huh? Madison is having a party this Saturday. What you say, bro? Madison is having a fucking party this Saturday. Be there. Dude, what the fuck? What did you say? I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, hello bro, my dad's calling me What's up dad? Shut your fat bitch ass up You son of a bitch I told you to have yeah, your ass yeah. in this motherfucking house Oh what time it is, it's um It's 7 It's 7 30, you stupid motherfucker I told you to bring your fat ass back in this house At 7 fucking 30 You yeah, yeah, motherfucker yeah. Oh tell my dad you said hi Yo, Dad, Bob said hi. Fuck Bob with his bitch ass. You hurry up and come home because, ooh, boy. Ooh, 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 ooh. That ass getting all yeah, up yeah. tonight, baby. I'm coming home now, Dad. My dad said hi. Yo, Mom, you mind if I go to the movies with my friends? What the fuck? Why? Why the fuck am I on punishment? Because the dog did a backflip while chasing the cat. Taking my game, mom. Our neighbor, Mr. Jones, got caught playing with Dad's Johnson. Mom, what in the actual, literal, gargantuan, Bartholomew, or Stolomew fuck does that have to do with me? I we was under the bleachers and she sucked. What now, mom? What are you taking my phone for? You taking my goddamn phone because the sun ain't out. took my whole fucking life. Now I can't watch TV! Cause I got an A in every class. Get your black ass back here, mom! <laughs> hey, hey, bring your ass here! Hey boy, come here. Let me see your goddamn phone. What the fuck? What the fuck you mean? Hold on, you gotta go do something right quick. What the fuck if you don't hand me that goddamn phone? So help me God, I'm gonna stick my tongue in your. Give me this goddamn phone, mother. Really? Just fucking really? What the fuck? Are you looking up big black BBCs? Hold up, let me go through these messages. Hey guys, I saw my mom twerking in the shower butt booty naked. You're really pretty. Thank you. So you agree? You think you're really pretty? Yeah, bitch, the fuck? Excuse me, ma'am? Yeah? Hi. Um, I noticed that you have a red Stanley tumbler in your cart. Mm-hmm. And there aren't any more on the shelves, so... Oh, yeah, I'm not surprised. A big crowd ran in earlier, and they were, like, grabbing all of them. But I was lucky enough to grab one for myself. Right. Okay. Well, since you're getting it for yourself, 
I'm actually trying to get one for my little baby girl who's seven years old. Her name is Ansley Annabelle Adams. Um, yeah, she really wants that exact Stanley. So I can't come home unless I bring her that Stanley. Oh, um, well, I'm so sorry. I mean, you could probably check like other targets or something or maybe go on the Stanley website. Mm, no, I don't want to do that. I need that Stanley that's in the cart. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I can't do that. I already got it for myself and... I don't know what to tell you. Technically, the cup is still in the store, so it belongs to Target still. It's not your property unless you pay for it, and you haven't paid for it yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab it out of your cart. Do you want to go swimming? You can borrow my bikini if you want. Oh, wait, I forgot. You have double Ds. What are you doing after work? Besides going to the gym, since you go to the gym every day. Are we going to Uber there? Yeah, that's fine. Do you want to Uber back too? Yeah, we can just split it. Well, actually, my mom said that she would pay for it. She would pay for it there and back. I don't know. She was feeling really generous, so. Aw, really? That's so sweet. That is so sweet of her. Oh, my God. Okay. Thanks. Tell her thanks. Okay, so it says that the Uber is 15 minutes away. Okay. So I was actually thinking, um, so it says that it's $30 there and then $30 back, so that's $60. Bucks. Um, did you want to just give me 30 so we can do like half and half. What? I, I thought you said that your mom would pay for it. There and back. Well, yeah, but I just like kind of feel bad. You know, I just like kind of feel bad for her. So if you could just like at least give me half and then, um, yeah, I just like won't feel as bad. Oh, okay. So you'll give the $30 to your mom, right? Um, I mean, she probably wouldn't mind if I just took it for myself. Yeah, I'm sure she wouldn't care. Oh, so I would just be giving you $30 when your mom paid for the Uber and didn't ask for any money back. Well, when you say it like that, it sounds kind of bad. No, like, not like that. Like, you would just be giving me half of what my mom paid for. Yeah, but the money's not going to be going to your mom. It's going directly in your pocket. So, basically, you're profiting off of me. I obviously would have been more than willing to split the Uber, like, half and half, but you said that your mom would pay for the entire thing. So do you want to hang out tomorrow after school? No, I can't. I have a job. Don't you have a job? No, my parents said I'm not allowed to get a job until I'm like 18. What? Why? I don't know. Because my mom thinks that I'm going to be an adult when I'm 18. That's so not fair. Your parents are literally raising you to be a spoiled brat. Like, why would you want to be spoiled when you could just go and get a job and be independent? How do you always have money then? Your parents just give it to you? No. Well, technically, yeah, but I have to do chores around the house. They don't just give it to me. Chores? That doesn't even count. They're basically just giving you money. That's going to make you spoiled. You're always going to depend on your parents. I think you should get a job. I don't know. I don't really want to. See? You're already turning into a spoiled brat. Dude, I just turned 16. Like, what? I'll get a job when I turn 18. It's not that big of a deal. They want me to focus on school. Well, I can still focus on school. My parents make me go to work. Okay, well, that sucks. I'm sorry. Ugh, I hate you. Lily, are you wearing a new perfume? You smell so good. Oh, it's actually mine. Yeah, I let her borrow it, so I'll take that compliment. I, like, had to wake her up this morning to tell her to go take a shower because she smelled so bad. Oh, what? I'm kidding. Uh... Lily, what is this song? Your playlist is always so good. Like, technically, my playlist because she literally steals all the songs off of my playlist and, like, calls it her own. No, I know I sent you this song, but, like, you didn't need to add it to your playlist. You know what I mean? So, yeah. It's actually my music. Your makeup always looks so good. I swear, like, your skin is so flawless. You should see her makeup brushes. They're from, like, 2007, and she hasn't washed them in, like, months. Like, Lily does not deserve her perfect skin because she never takes care of it. She, like, washes her face, like, once every three days. Lily, I think the waiter has a crush on you. He's been staring at you the entire time. No, he's definitely looking at me. Why would he be looking at Lily? She's literally wearing a giant sweatshirt with a huge hole in the back of it. Oh my god, why are you mad? Lily, I'm just kidding. It was a joke. Oh my god, you're so sensitive. I was just kidding. Oh my god, the Uber driver overcharged me. He charged me $75 for my ride last night. It was supposed to be 22 I have to call. Like, call your parents so they can pay for it? Girl, what? I have to call Uber so they can refund it or dispute it or whatever. Oh, right. Wait, why? Um, because I can't afford to pay it? <laughs> oh. Right. Yep. I got it now. Mm-hmm, that makes total sense. 
How much was it again? 75 cents? Oh, dollars? What's the difference? Is that like the price of like a Starbucks drink or something? It's more, a lot more. Oh, okay. Yeah, that like three drinks. Oh. Yikes. I mean, I could just give you like my dad's, I mean, my debit card and you can just use it and pay for it. I don't really care. Um, it's fine. You don't have to call them and like make a scene. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, it is, it is a big deal because it's a lot of money, but yeah, you can just use my card. Are you sure? I mean, I, I don't know how I'm going to pay you back. No, it's okay. You don't have to pay me back. My dad doesn't, I mean, I don't care. So here's my debit card. Um, just don't look at the name on the card. <laughs> so how are things with you going? Are you dating anyone? Yeah, so funny that you ask. I actually just started talking to someone. Um, his name's Jason, Jason Smith. Jason Smith? That kind of sounds familiar. Yeah, we went to the same middle school, remember? Oh my god, oh my god, yeah, how could I forget? He was my gym partner for three years. Oh yeah, he was. I completely forgot about that. That's crazy that you remember that. I mean, how could I forget? You know, we were super close. So, what did you say? You guys were dating or talking or whatever? Yeah, yeah, we actually just started talking a few weeks ago. We went on a few dates. Everything's been really great. He's really sweet. Oh, and you didn't think to ask me for my permission? Permission for what? To talk to him? We were really close. And he made me a promise that if he wasn't married by 30, he would get married to me. Oh, well, I mean, just a minute ago, you didn't even remember his name. That's not relevant. What's relevant is that you're completely going against girl code. The least you could have done is ask me if I was okay with it. I think you're being a little dramatic. I, I can't even tell if you're joking or not. It was middle school and you guys never dated. You were just gym partners. While you were in the bathroom, your phone lit up and it was a notification from a dating app. We've been dating for two years. Do you want to explain why you have a dating app downloaded on your phone? Number one, why are you going through my phone? That's a major invasion of my privacy. And number two, why don't you trust me? A relationship is nothing without trust. So if you're trying to accuse me of something, just say that now and we'll be done. I'm kind of confused now because all I did was ask you why you downloaded a dating app while we are dating. I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm simply asking you why. Well, answer my question first. Why are you going through my phone? I wasn't. You left your phone on the bed and it lit up. So I looked over. Okay, that's fair. That's my fault for leaving my phone unattended. As for the dating app, though, the only reason I downloaded it was to make new friends. That's all. I'll be right back. I gotta go shower. Wait, I'll come in there with you. In the shower? No, fucking weirdo. I'm just gonna sit on top of the toilet. Why? I don't know. I just don't want to be in your room by myself. I'm bored. Which top do you think I should wear tonight? The gray or the black? They're both really cute. I love them. But do you want to try on that red top that I brought that I decided not to wear? It's super low cut and I have sticky tape for your boobs. It'll like push them up and make them look super good and perky. Do you think I should wear a ponytail tonight or wear my hair down? Mm, I think you should wear a ponytail, but make sure you bring out your little bang pieces. And don't forget to bring a brush because your hair is going to get really tangly really fast. Oh my god, that really cute guy keeps looking over here. Oh my god, he's coming over here. How do I look? Oh my god, you're a little oily around your T-zone. Let me get my powder. Let me smell your breath. Ugh, here's some gum. Let me check your nose. Oh my god, you have a booger. Come here. Here, I also brought some perfume. Wait, let me check for boogers one more time. Okay, you're good. Turn around. Let me check your butt. <gasps> oh my god, there's something on your butt. No worries. I brought my jacket with me. I could just take it off and you can tie it around your waist. Okay, you're good. Have fun. If you need me to come save you from the conversation, just hold up three fingers by your thigh and itch your ear twice and I'll be there. I love hanging out with you. I feel like we're having a really great time and we're getting along really well. Yeah, we've been on about 12 dates so far, so we had this discussion on our very first date. I would like to take it slow, and I thought you agreed. Yeah, I thought we were taking it slow. I mean, we've been on 12 dates. How much slower can it get? You know what I mean? I just want to know what we are. We're having fun. So we're exclusive? What does that mean to you? That we're only seeing each other? Oh, fuck no. I'm going on another Tinder date in 20 minutes. Matter of fact, I gotta go. So I'm gonna see other people too. You fucking whore. Hey girl, can you loan me a couple hundred dollars? Oh my god, are you okay? What's wrong? Why do you, why do you need a couple hundred dollars? Don't you have a job? 
yeah, no, everything's fine. Um, I do have a job, but see, like, I already spent all my money that I got on Friday. Wait, hold on. Money that you got this Friday? It's Sunday. Girl, I know, okay? Just hear me out. So I really need this new Louis Vuitton purse. It's only 1200 So if you could just loan me that, and then I will pay you back in four paychecks, okay? I just, like, really need this bag. Okay, sorry. I'm just a little confused. You are going to pay me back in four paychecks. What are you going to do in those four weeks? Like, are you going to eat? Are you going to pay your bills? Like, how are you going to live? Do you really need this bag? Girl, I just asked for a loan. Like, I didn't ask for you to be all up in my business. And not that it concerns you, but ramen noodles are great. I love them. They're super good, super cheap. And as for paying bills, like, that's just way too grown for me. You know what I mean? Like, that's... It's not really my vibe. My vibe is to have fun and look good, not pay bills. But regardless, um, you don't need to worry about that. I will pay you back, most likely. So if I could just have that loan, that would be great. Hey girl, do you have an extra hoodie? Yeah, of course. I have five in my backseat and also three pairs of sweatpants. You can pick whichever ones you want. Oh my god, that mountain is so pretty when it's covered with snow. We should go skiing. I have some in my trunk. Jason has to text me back in a few hours. I don't know what to do. I have a fake shrub plant that's five feet tall in my trunk. Um, we could probably just drag it out and then put it by his window and pretend to wear bushes and look through his window. Kylie! 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 What? Hi. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, Wait, give it back. Who should I text? Hi, Grandma. I Stop. don't love you. <laughs> John, catch. All right, catch. Emily, catch. Corey, catch. Alyssa, catch. Oh, just kidding. I wouldn't actually. Just kidding again, Alyssa, catch. Uh... Matt, why are you being sus? <laughs> Ew, Kylie, you're nasty. All right, we're going to start with the awards uh... for... I was saying we're going to start the awards ah! for... Could we please have quiet in the auditorium now? Thank you. Ah! Best smile goes to Mackenzie S. Mackenzie S, but she's ugly. Yo, chat, is this real? Congratulations. <sighs> Jason has a crush on Kate. <sighs> what did I say? I, I was sleep talking. And the funniest award goes to... Hannah P. What? Bro, she doesn't even... Burp. Dude, this has to be rigged. I mean, I throw pencils at the ceiling every single class. These people just don't appreciate the art of comedy. I know, I'll fail on my test so that I get held back so that I can try to win the award again. Good morning, Sabrina. Sabrina, can I borrow your pencil? <laughs> um, well, hey! Ew, that's disgusting. <laughs> can you stop? <laughs> but I'm not touching you. <laughs> I'm not touching you. <laughs> Emily, another day without makeup? Let me help you with that. <laughs> Dude, watch it. Michael, drink your water. Um, okay, I guess. <laughs> I wonder where my toenail clippings went. The answer to number four? Ryan. <laughs> but! <laughs> you said you wanted to borrow my highlighter? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, you can keep it. No, it's fine. I don't care. Are you sure? No, I have another. It's fine, really. And then we got back home, and oh, is something wrong? N nothing wrong. Hey, guess what? I- Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to distract you. No, I was just playing a game. That's a really nice shirt. Oh, uh, thanks. Are you being sarcastic? No. Why does everyone always ask me that? And then I said, oh, that's not even me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, did you actually think that was funny, or are you pretending to laugh? What makes you say that? Oh, by the way, you're invited to my birthday party this weekend if you want to come. Oh, well, maybe I won't go. You know. Oh, no, please, I really want you there. You do? Yes! I brought slices of cake for my birthday. Um, do you want one? Oh, well, you don't have to have one. No, they look so good. Well, you don't have to eat it just because I brought them. No, can I have one? I mean, yeah. You really are like my best friend. Here, maybe you should try saying that with like a smile. All right, first raise your eyebrows and then start lifting your mouth. Oh, 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 never mind. What grade did you get? I got an A minus. It says B plus. Oh, no, that's just an inside joke between me and the teacher. You wouldn't get it. Yeah, I actually had bright red hair as a baby. They called me Ed Sheeran. Nuh-uh, I've seen your baby pictures. Those are all photoshopped. The haters photoshopped it. I'm going to France this summer. 
I was actually born there. Wait, so you have haters? Yeah, I'm actually an international pop star, but I'm only international in Albania, so that's probably why you've never heard of me. Are you guys talking about Harry Styles? Uh, no, we weren't. Did you know that I know him? Have you ever been to Iceland? No. Aw, I was actually born there. I thought you were born in France. I mean, it was like the other time that I was born. This is mine now! Hey, give my phone back! Oh, no, Finders Keepers, Finders Keepers! Haven't you ever heard of Finders Keepers? <laughs> Mrs. R, I got something in my eye! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> okay, who put that desk there? Michaela, can you toss me that highlighter? Michaela just threw this highlighter at my face and just chucked it at my face, sent her to the principal's office for harassment! Hannah, 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 What? Hannah. Nothing. <laughs> my mom said that we could have a snack. I brought a Capri Sun. Whoa, what do you think you're doing? Capri Suns are not for guests. You can have a cup of water. Go fill it up at the sink. The chocolate bar is for me. And you can have the tomatoes. Now finish your entire snack or you're sleeping on the floor tonight. <laughs> <gasps> I said... <gasps> what? What's wrong? My mom forgot to pack my lunch today. Wait. I'm so silly. I forgot that she's bringing me lunch today. Um, Mrs. G, would it be okay if I sat near the window today so I could see if my mom's pulling up? All right, could we put all phones away, please? Oh, I'm just looking at the menu. What? The menu? The McDonald's menu? <laughs> Zach, Zach Attack, Zachy Boy, what did you bring for lunch? Well, I have Oh, uh... well, I'm actually having McDonald's, but don't tell anyone because then they're all gonna ask for some. Mom, are you here yet? A voicemail. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. Maybe I can wait in the office? Okay, I know you're all gonna want some, but remember, I only promised fries to Kylie. All right, it's quiz time, so put your phones away and clear your desks. Um, well, I actually have to leave my phone out because I have to wait to see when my mom gets here because she's actually bringing my lunch, which is from McDonald's. Oh, I'm just practicing eating my McDonald's lunch. <gasps> that's your car! That's your car! That's... Matt, why are you stalking Ava's Instagram? I'm not. Yo, that's really weird. She has a boyfriend. I'm not even using Instagram. And tonight for homework, could you all read tape? <laughs> homework? <laughs> Someone called the janitor. Dude, I'm just gonna play it and then we all leave. Okay, ready? <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 we gotta go, we gotta go. No, guys, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. Why say skibbity toilet? No. Say skibbity toilet. No. Oh, Ow. I tried to warn you. <laughs> Can I borrow these? Hey! <laughs> Whoa, you are so blind! Oh, 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 oh! <clears throat> that was for Ohio. <laughs> good morning, class! <laughs> and a super good morning to Mackenzie, because your mom is super hot. <laughs> Chelsea, you were in the bathroom for quite some time. <laughs> were you taking a dump? Hey, cut that out! It wasn't me! Hey, what are these? Oh, that's my medication. Don't mess with them. I need those. <laughs> well, they're all gone. <laughs> I'm dizzy. Do you want to come over after school? Oh, okay. You don't have to. No, I'll go. No, it's fine if you don't want to. I want to. So we did it over and over again. Did I say something to make you mad? No, you're good. Okay. I like your shirt. Oh, thanks. Oh, wait, are you being sarcastic? No. All right, pass up your papers and I'll get started grading right away. But I don't need attitude. What are you talking about? Um, what time is lunch today? 12.30. Okay, and you're sure? It's 12.30 every day. Okay, and you got my mom's email that she's bringing my lunch today? I sure did. Great. Hey, could you focus on your work, please? Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to watch to make sure that my mom doesn't come and I miss her because she's bringing my lunch. Do you guys think I'll have to be at the office for a long time? For what? Oh, just because my mom's dropping off McDonald's and I don't know, like, if I have to sign forms or something. I'm going to the bathroom, so if everyone could just watch out for a silver minivan, and if you see one, tell me, because it's probably my mom. Do you think I should go down to the office? For what? Just in case my mom gets here and drops off my lunch, then that way it won't interrupt class over the loudspeaker. Well, it's only 9.15, so I think you can wait. Oh, really? Um, 
I mean, I can probably be a little early. Oh, I'm so hungry <laughs> for lunch. <laughs> like, don't spread this around, but like, I'll give you a fry. And like, you too, Hannah, like, I'll give you guys fries. Just like, don't spread it around because then everyone's going to want one. Um, my mom says she's going to be here at 12.15, so I should probably just go now. You'll be missing two hours of class. Oh, no, I don't mind. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Did you speak when you came in? You said, did I speak to who? My mama. She was riding well, the couch. Why gotta speak to your mama? Girl, because it's respect. That's doing too much, though. I'm not gonna do all that. She a grown woman. She, she, she should know I'm here. She'll be okay. Girl, it's a simple hey. You got a lighter? No, why? Because I was trying to spark up in a room. Girl, we can't smoke in my mama's house. You don't, I can't smoke in your room? No, she feel like that's disrespectful. How is that not respectful? Like, I mean, I guess. So, I gotta smoke outside. I mean, if you wanna smoke, yeah. Okay, girl. Cool, I'ma just wait. Um, I'm gonna go outside with these dudes. I'ma come back around, like, 4 in the morning. Just open the door for me. Girl, after 12, once the door's locked, they locked. My mom and I playing that. I can't come back in the house at 4 in the morning. Once the door's locked, they locked. Yeah. Girl, your parents, they do the most. Like, I can't, you can't run in another house. Not at four in the morning. Okay, so you want me to just tell them no? I mean, yeah. I guess. Girl, turn it down. You got my grandma here in there. Girl, what? What you mean turn this down? Why? My grandma can literally hear that, Your bro. grandma. How is that disrespectful? She's old. She don't want to listen to that. I can't play songs like this around your grandma. Girl, no. So what you want me to play? I don't know, but play something else. I mean, I guess. Um, I'm finna go let my boyfriend in if that's cool. My mama not gonna let him in. She don't know him. Your mama don't know him, so he can't come in? Yeah. Why does it matter? She don't want some random dude in her house. So you want me to... Not you want me to tell him not to come, unless y'all want to be outside. I'm not coming to your house no more because it's like I can't be free over here. Like I have to speak when I walk in. I can't play music with cuss words or I can't smoke in the room. I can't have my dude over here. Like, what's the point of coming then? Like, I'm confused. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, brother. Uh, who are you? I'm his girlfriend, Ashley. Well, Ashley, I'm his sister. Just want to let you know, I'm his big sister. I'm the sister that's going to always be around. So if you say something to him slick, if you snap at the mouth, you will get slapped. And next time you come in here, make sure you speak to me first. I don't speak to people under me. I'm sorry. And brother, them little hood rats you bring in here, hood rat. control them. Goodbye. Ma, who's, who's Trey? Girl, doing don't ask now? me. You know your brother just be doing stuff. Um, Trey, mama. Why is you on his lap? Oh, we just talking. Girl, don't feel special because when I was little, I used to sit on his lap. And I was the, I'm the original girl. I'm his favorite girl in the world. Don't be thinking that you're going to come in here and take my brother from me. <laughs> I'm not trying to. <laughs> I'm not laughing. But, um, Trey, mama said go wash some dishes. <laughs> brother, it's moving, brother. <laughs> what, bro? Sit down. Chill Why out are you twerking in front of your brother? That's too weird Girl, for that me. Is not weird. You don't know me and my brother bond. I can twerk in front of him. That's literally my brother. Like, what? I twerk in front of him all the time. And you think that's normal? That's weird. Girl, he's my biggest hype man. He could tell me if my. <laughs> like, what? Hey, sis, chill out, bro. And not you being weird since your girlfriend here. You know I always work in front of you. But okay. Brother. She's finna say something like, about me. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my brother. I just feel like ever since you got with Ashley, you've been acting like real stank towards me. We don't go on brother and sister days. You don't take me to get my nails done, my hair done. You don't even come lay in my room, watch movies with me. Like, you do everything with her now. And sis, I that's what your that, boyfriend like, be doing. You got a whole boyfriend, sis. I mean, okay. Merry 
Y'all want some gumbo? <laughs> yeah. I told you you was gonna get that. Yeah. Y'all put all that trash in here. Ooh! Boy, your mom must got you these. And you know, for that PlayStation, all these Christmas decorations, you take it down. I think y'all forgot these stockings. I think they got some little pod, air pod things in here. Hmm. And I got one more gift. Hmm. Don't ask me for nothing for the rest of the year. And I hope you got been ungrateful because I got the receipts and they'll go right back. Why you can't be like your sister? She got dolls and why you why you need seven five hundred four hundred dollars? You got a PlayStation. Chill out. And we all done with all this. Y'all make sure y'all get taking this Christmas stuff down, put it in the closet. And y'all heard if you put all this up, get dressed, because y'all know we got to go see our grandma's house. I'm so ready to get my hair done. Girl, that's why I booked me an appointment for you next week. You get your hair done next week? Yeah. What you doing to it? I was thinking about going dark red. Red? Girl, red on you would not be cute. Girl, like, what you know? mean by red, though? Like, straight red. Straight red? Like, you're going to just, ugh, on you, though? I don't know. I feel like you would be more cute and, like, black, bone straight black. But... That's up to, that's on you. Girl. Okay. But yeah, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, so. Yeah. Whew. Hey, girl. What you looking at me like that for? Girl, because your hair. My hair. What about it? Ain't no way you went and got the same oh hairstyle I said I was getting. You swear you're the only one that can wear red hair. Like, what? When did you ever talk about red hair? Yesterday, when you said it wouldn't look good on me. I said it wouldn't look cute on you. I, if I did say that, I said on you. I never said it wouldn't look cute on me. Like, what? I told y'all I was getting my hair done yesterday. So what's the problem? But why copy somebody's hairstyle when you just said it was ugly? Like, what? We can't both wear red? It's a, what's the big deal? So what you wearing to that girl dinner tomorrow? Because I have no idea what I want to wear. Like, what color? Honestly, I was just going to wear a light pink you sweater. Gonna, you going to wear a pink sweater to a dinner? Girl, I don't know. I just feel like pink is not your color. Like, you should wear, like, black, brown, tan. Like, I feel like you should stick to the nude colors. I mean, I don't know yet. What you going to wear? What am I going to wear? Um, I don't know yet. I haven't figured that out. But when I do, I'll probably just be, like, a t-shirt and a jeans. I don't know. Nothing too serious. I'm sorry I'm late, y'all. Uh, Happy birthday, girl. I got you a gift in the car. Thank you. Why is you looking at me like that? Because why are you wearing a pink sweater? Girl, what you talking about? I just threw this on. Girl, you're trying to be like me so bad. I'm trying to be like you. How am I trying to be like you? I told you I was wearing pink yesterday. When did I? When did you ever say anything about wearing pink to the dinner? Yesterday. Girl, <laughs> I can't. You swear, like, you do this every single time, though. Girl, you do this every single time. So you told me you was wearing a pink sweater to the dinner? Girl, yes. Well, if you did, what's the problem? Like, why we can't both match? Girl, guess what? What? I gotta start wearing glasses. You gotta start wearing glasses? What they look like? They like clear as pinkish. Clear? Girl, I feel bad for you. Your face don't fit glasses. Like, I don't know. It's just too... I don't know. I just can't see you in glasses. But, I mean... That sucks for you, though. Girl, let me tell you. What? Girl, I ain't no way. Why are you looking at me like that? Because your glasses. My glasses. What about them? You went and got the same pair as me. So you mean to tell me I went and got the same glasses that you was going to get? Girl, yes. Girl, you try so hard. These are my prescription glasses. I've been having these. I just now started to wear them. Girl, why is you lying? You never had to wear glasses before. I don't understand. If you got the glasses, I got the glasses. Cool. Who cares? It's not that big of a deal. It's the point that you talk stuff about me, then turn around and wear okay. it. You say I criticize you, then turn around and wear it. I be having this stuff already. Just because I say it don't look good on you, don't have nothing to do with me. Like, you need to calm down. You swear you're that girl. Like, somebody want to be you. I'm starving. Do y'all have anything to eat at y'all house? Girl, I'm so sorry, but we only got noodles right now. Noodles? I don't eat that. I'm used to, like, steak, shrimp, mashed potatoes, scallops. Like, 
noodles y'all your parents really sit there and make you eat noodles we just kind of struggling right now i'm gonna just wait till i get home those rick owens because they're cute nah these converse. converse i can't do converse they too low budget for me you yeah, know only designer over here baby but i mean they look good on you but like for somebody like me converse nah they're just not for me hey i just want to let you know i don't have a bed right now you don't got no bed you could have said that before I came over here because I don't do the land on the ground. Well, girl, we can make a pallet on the floor together. A pallet? You think somebody like me finna lay on the pallet? I love you and all, but I'm gonna have to tell my mom to pick me up because I'm not that rotted dog. I can't lay on no pallet with you. No. Girl, are you for real? I thought we was gonna be laying in the bed. A Lisa air mattress. No, girl. I forgot my perfume. Do you have perfume? You do? Oh, yeah, here. Oh, let me see. Body fantasies. Girl, I don't do this. I don't do bath and body works. You don't got no Versace, no Jimmy Choo. No, nah, that's all I can afford right now. This is cheap, and I can't put this on my skin. Like, this is going to break me out. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Like, maybe for your type of skin. But for me, this is too cheap. I don't do that. Thank you. Where'd you get that from? That's real cute. Girl from Walmart. Walmart? You shop at Walmart? Girl, yeah. Girl, I would never be dead seeing, caught, breathing, looking in the Walmart clothing section. No. If it's not the Galleria, um, any designer, I'm not doing that. I don't know how girls will shop at Walmart, but me personally, I could never. Happy birthday happy to birthday you. To happy birthday, happy birthday to my friend. Happy birthday to you, girl. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, dear. To... Wait, so only she get cake or do everybody get cake? Because I get she the birthday girl, but we still like important too. So is there a way you can bring me like a little piece of cake also with a candle on it? It has to be your birthday. Oh, it got to be my birthday? Well, it, I'll just pay the extra for it, but just, like, put the candle and stuff on it and put happy birthday. I'll have it right Thank off for you. you. Girl, why you what? need a whole cake? I, I, can't, I can't have no cake. But happy birthday on it. So, what colors are you doing? Like, what colors is everybody supposed to be wearing? Um, Pink for y'all. Pink tomorrow? So, we're going to be wearing pink and you're going to be wearing red. Yeah. Okay. All right. <sighs> why are you looking at me like that girl i said to wear pink i'm supposed to be wearing pink yeah i know but like i don't understand why only you can wear red so i was like maybe i should wear red with her girl it's a it's theme a i mean it's never that deep like it's just me and you wearing red what's the matter it's not your birthday you'll be okay we get it's your birthday but i can wear red i can wear what i want So, after we leave dinner, what we going to do? Like, what you want to do? I was thinking about riding scooters. Ride scooters? No. We're not doing that. Girl, what? I mean, I get it's your birthday, but, like, do y'all want to go ride scooters? Girl, yeah, yeah I'm down It's her birthday. Okay, well, y'all ride scooters. I'm going to probably go to the hookah lounge because I don't feel like that's fun. Hey, did you bring a gift or no? Um, did I bring a gift? I mean, everybody else got you something, so I didn't really see the point of, like, getting you a gift. Like, you know I love you, you know we cool, but spending my money, girl, I get. Like, trust me, I get it's your birthday, but I'm not spending my money on you. Girl, what? Like, I'm here. That's all that should matter is my presence. My presence, not my presence. But, um, yeah, like, girl, it's your birthday. You're not Nicki Minaj, you're not Beyonce. Chill. Hey girl, come on, we finna take pictures. We finna take pictures? Okay, well let me run to the car and get my flowers out the car so I can hold them in my pictures. Girl, only she holding flowers. I can't hold flowers? 
So you mean to tell me I bought a crown and flowers for no reason? I mean, why would you buy it? Okay, well, I'm just not be in a picture then. Because you can't hold flowers? I can't hold flowers and wear a crown. Girl, why did you get a blue wig? What you mean? Why? I wanted to do it for prom. You don't think you're too dark for that? What? No. What the freak are you talking about? That do not look good on your skin complexion. I feel like color wigs go for more of like a light skin. Like you got to be light skin or like pink, blue, blonde. If you, if you like that, you shouldn't be wearing color gray. You should have just stuck to like brown or black. That's better for y'all. What you mean by y'all? I mean, like, y'all as in, like, dark skin is, like, that's just better for y'all. I just feel like that's cuter. Like, y'all need to just stick to, like, things that fit y'all skin color. We can wear what we want. We just as pretty as y'all. I mean, I'm just trying to say my opinion. Like, it's cute or whatever. I just feel like it would be cuter on, like, somebody light skin. But, you know, everybody do what they want to do in life. Everybody wear what they want. You do you. Girl, I don't know if I'm tripping, but them dudes is looking over here at me. Girl, them dudes is not looking at you. Oh, why wouldn't they? Because I'm right here. You know, dudes mostly go for curly head, light skins. They not really like. Let's be honest. This 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 generation of dudes not really going for like dark skins like your color. Like I'm pretty sure I would be able to pull them faster than you can pull them because just because my skin. Let's be girl. Real. What? That's like, so I'm a dumb. Caramel red bone, and you were dark skin. They not going for that. Like, you might get, like, one dude out the group that'll go for you. But other than that, no. Girl, you're so weird. Like, you straight colorist, bro. How is that weird? <laughs> I mean, it, let's be honest. But okay, I guess. If you think they looking at you, they're looking Girl, at you. Girl, shut up. And you they just not dumb. looking at me. Girl, where did you get that dress from? Oh, this? I got it from Walmart. They had all different types of colors, girl. They even had black, too. I definitely got to go get me one. Well, if you go, make sure you get, like, black. Don't get no color, because color on your skin, it will not look good. How? What? You sound dumb. What? I just, feel, I just feel like you're dark skin, so black or white will look good on you. But, like, bright neon colors like this, I don't feel like that's you. I just feel like that's that's going to look, like, trashy. You just need something Girl, black, brown, trashy. or tan. Don't go get no color like this. You got to be, like, light skin for that type of stuff, I think. Why do you sound so dumb when really? you talk all the time? I'm just okay. Never mind, bro. I'm just saying. I no, feel like you're, you're rude, disrespectful, and colorist. You need to stop saying stuff black. like that. Sounding dumb. How's that rude? You're saying I can't pull something off because I'm dark skin. Are you dumb? Okay.